Okay, after you already create, um, cut the pictures in the Photoshop, uh, now go to the Dream Weavers, and the first thing that we have to do um, before we build the website, we have to tell the pro the uh, set the projects here, like many exercise. Actually, you can access this form here down here. Okay, many exercise, or you just go to the site menu and manage the size here actually you can see they have many projects that I work for the, my client here but I will create a new one because I am going to build a new website so go to new and site okay and that is the name of the, your website just fill the name in I will like example and click on next button Th that's the second um, at the second question here um, you want to work with uh, server technologies? Um, I always said no because I will work only on my computers. And the third question here: Where do you want to store your file? Okay, actually I will choose the pictures, uh, the the folder that I create before. That one. Okay, actually my folder is on the, ma the desktop. Select. Okay. At this question is um, just tell the folder that you want to work with. Okay. Next, do you want to connect your limo server? No, let's say no. Next, done. Okay. Wait, if you did it correctly, your website name will show up here, and all of your file will be will be on the right hand side here. Okay, just go to file and new and create the website here you will get a blank page like this don't forget to rename um, the title I will give it like example title of the website okay at this step I will try to create a table I will put all of this image into the table okay and when you click on the table um, it will ask you like how many rows and columns do you want to create and what is your table with okay now I will go back to the Photoshop here. See, um, this website, um, okay, have like four row. So I will create like four row. That is the first row. The menu is the second row, and the content as um, third row. And footer here is the fourth row. Actually, this this part, the footer, is actually contain about the uh, copyright information. So go back to Dream Beavers. So four row one columns we will start to create only a row first and we will try to create a column later table width okay table width so we have to go back to the photoshop and see how wide of our website here is just drag like this place f8 to open up the info panel here you can see um, this is the, the size of our website here about 802 okay if your number doesn't come up like this you have to change the unit okay like click on the rulers and change the unit to pixel unit so 802 okay that's, that's correct border thickness that set it as zero and cell padding as well cell spacing as well cell padding and cell spacing is the um, space between the cell the space between the cell so we we'll set as zero because um, we don't need any space between the cell and then click OK okay you can see after we created we get the um, this table with about 802 with four column here at the first column I always get is a banner right so just drag the banner pictures and drop in the first row at the second row uh, is a menu okay just go back you can see at the menus here I have like five pictures we already cut um, from the previous videos okay if we have like this five pictures here so go back to dream reverse so we have to divide it in five cell here because one cell only can contain one cell can contain only one picture so now have only one cell I will divide it in five cell so what I will do is um, click on the second row here this cell okay and insert the table 
only one row and five columns okay and same table width and same setting here and then click OK so now we, I will get like five row okay um, I will get like five column here five cell here okay actually um, just drag and drop the menus into the cell there like that but it will be like this you can see this cell is longer than that pictures right so what I will do is I will go back to the Photoshop a little bit and I will measure the image size okay this image size so I will use the selection tool and select the size of that images and you can see in the info panel is about 401 so I will fill at this cell select at this cell go to the property and you can see the width here I will fill like 401 and just put it in okay you can see these cell actually these cell actually fit into the pictures so this picture will not move anywhere okay that's why we have to fill the uh, the size of the pictures into the cell okay next uh, add the next next buttons okay I uh, will leave it quickly okay about 86 okay 86 so home okay maybe I will try to do like more than one picture in times 90 97 128 this one 90 97 and that one 128 okay that's good okay contact is the last one and product that one and about okay now we will try to look at the third row here the third row is a content area that that that, that this part okay okay actually divide it into columns so I will try to divide it into two columns insert the table just one row and two columns same table width okay same same thing here down here you can see at the third row here have like two columns so at the left column here I will try to measure the size of that that columns so is about 185 185 and then I will fill it in here 185 okay and this part actually the background is gray so shoot it from here like that and down here as well that's the footer here at the fourth row I'll change the background color like pink maybe pick on the pictures here okay something like this actually you can enter to get um, some more space but not at this time okay if you need the exactly color background here you just pick the colors in the Photoshop by using your eyedropper tool uh, where it is um, actually I don't know why is my eyedropper tool um, should be allowed here okay that one okay pick it and now here is the website color code the color code for the website just copy and paste it select the cell you can see this is a cell background and copy and paste into it the um, color code actually begin with the hand sign here and follow with the fixed digit here okay okay now we try to put fill in some text some text okay you can see when I type the text in here uh, doesn't look very good because actually I like to the left here very close to the table here table edge here so what we do I will try to insert the another table maybe two row that is depend on you okay one columns table width okay actually um, the table width for the white cell here is not 802 okay so maybe I will change to like 500 that is smaller okay that 
is about 500 pixel okay I just guess okay so I will make a line to the center just make it to the center of this and just select the table here yeah. actually I will change the cell padding to like 5 and 5 don't make my table uh, close to the edges like that okay it will have like space between the cell so we type something maybe type like headers headings and that is text okay and you can change the text okay now you can see my website is actually aligned to the left size I will select the whole table here and move it to the centers go to the properties align and centers okay so now we will go to the centers now we will look at the background of this website actually it's white okay now we sh want to change it to the black because the uh, my sketch is black there is so select the background okay and page property background color black okay but um, this cell color gone back as well so I will click at that cell and change to white okay that's good okay in page property here you can see um, actually my website have the margin the the space here allow the edge yeah so actually I want to set like um, don't have any margin so my website will close to the edge of the browsers so I will have to you have to set like zero like this for the left like bottom and top like this this is basically how to build a website with the table okay thanks